Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. Now, keep in mind that this could happen at any time in May. So I want to thank you for your patience. Um, I really appreciate that. So a card just fell out. It did come out upright. Oh, we got two of them. Now that one was hiding underneath it. You've been ignoring your gut, Sagittarius. This is only lust. Something is only lust. And lust isn't just sexual. Lust could be for money. You have been ignoring your gut about a situation. And I feel like you know what you need to do. But there's some lust is desire. A strong desire. There's a strong desire for something that you probably don't need. And maybe you're ignoring it because you want it so bad. So yeah, there's something that, you know, you need to reevaluate by the looks of things. Do you really need it? Is it causing you too much stress? What do we have? What do we have for Sagittarius? You've been ignoring your gut about a situation that you really don't need in your life. It's not going to bring you satisfaction. Maybe instant, but not in the long run. So what do we have for Sagittarius? One card, please. One card for Sagittarius. The Fool. Now, the fool is a new beginning. There's also foolish behavior here. Um, this is uh, taking a risk. It's a free spirit. It's uh, stepping into unknown territory. This is exciting. So you do have an exciting new beginning in front of you. This is starting a new journey, starting a new chapter in your life. So this is a beginning. You have a new beginning here. You've been through some sort of stormy weather. The stormy weather is over. Okay, and we got the rainbow. Okay, that means that here comes the sun. Um, I feel as though you need to step into new territory. You need to leave something behind. You know, the fool steps into unknown territory and leaves the baggage. Just leaves it. I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm leaving. Goodbye. I don't need it. Keep it. Keep it. So I do believe that that is the attitude that you need to take. You're stepping into a new life. You're leaving something behind. You can't take it with you. Uh, let it go. There's something that you need to let go of. And you do have a new beginning here. Starting with a clean slate. You're free. Consider this freedom. This is an exciting time for you to create a new life. You're free. You're free from something that has been uh, holding you down. Brand new beginning here for Sagittarius. Oh, there it is. Oh, I told you. Let go. Now, didn't I? I believe I did. About well, 30 seconds ago. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit, as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. You need to let go of something. You are embarking on a new journey. You absolutely are. But this will require you to leave things behind. The fool does not take anything with him or her but the experiences on the new chapter. So this is actually exciting. You're free. You're free to go. You are. You're free. Consider this uh, a brand new life, a brand new journey, a brand new beginning. Because that's what, that's, this is it. This is, this is the beginning of something new. Now I gotta get my cards. Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, 
unprepared, lack of foresight, not seeing the opportunities, focusing on something that is only lust. It's time for a change. It is, this is a lesson being learned that is causing your evolution. This is exchanging something lesser for something better. If this is a card of purpose. You, you know this is your energy. You have the power to create whatever life that you want. The power is in your hands right now. Right now. You are in the process of creating a better life for yourself. But I feel like there's been a lack of foresight, right? There's been uh, wasted time by ignoring something. You have, it, you, it's almost like you've went into something with your eyes closed you know, you had this strong desire to hold on to something in the past. I feel like it's it's things. It may be things. If it's not, it was lust is desire. And I think that you've held on to something for way too long. Temperance is a card of extremes. I feel like it's time to accept and go with the flow. I feel as though you need to be fluid right? But you also need to be grounded. You need to be realistic. But you also be need to be open to change because you're going to be going through a, I feel like it's a massive change this, this month. This is about allowing and accepting change and, and dropping weight and dropping things that don't serve you, leaving it all behind you. You're going to need to manage your feelings and accept, accept something. You need to find the self-discipline to change. And I think you're going to be. I do, I do. Ooh. Ah. So you have a golden opportunity that is coming your way. This is an opportunity for success, prosperity, great health. You may be getting some money. Or you, this could be a fighting over money. There's fighting here. And there's this is money. But and maybe that's what you need to leave behind you. There's there I feel like there's um, unfair treatment here. I feel like there's been an abuse of power. There's uh, no progress. This is in the future, okay? There's no progress, there's no win, and there's anger. I feel like we have somebody here that just needs to let it go. It's not about winning, it's about happiness. Stop wasting your time on something that, you know, probably isn't meant to be. Now, the Knight of Swords reversed is somebody looking for a fight. Okay, always wanting to fight. There could be somebody here that has some mental health issues uh, that is out of control. This is a know-it-all. We have a know-it-all here. Somebody that is very smug, that is ego, ego well, very fo focused on their ego. This is somebody that has a very, very big ego, power crazed, um, that likes to fight. I feel like you need to, you need to just walk away from this fight. Don't fight. This is like still fighting. Let go. Let go of the need to fight. Just stop. Stop fighting. Decide. Decide. Make that decision. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take self-discipline to not to choose to walk away from a fight. I feel. I feel like um, this is bad news. I mean, the six of wands reversed is unwelcome news. This is not a win. You're not going to win or somebody's not going to win. This is a loss. This is a loss right here. This is bad news as well. It feels like somebody has made a poor decision and now it's time to just go in a new direction. Leave it all behind you. Just go, just go. Say, you can have it. I don't want it. Goodbye. This is a change. It is a change for the better. So there is a change for the better that is coming. You are unprepared for change. Uh, something could be happening suddenly. There could be, there, maybe there was a sudden change in the past. This is wasted time, unforeseen. Maybe it's an unforeseen arrival or an unforeseen departure that brings change into your life. 
everything happens for a reason. You do have a new beginning here. You're free. You're going to be broken free from some sort of battle. This has been a serious battle and it's been an ongoing battle. But you have to choose to uh, accept and allow whatever it is and, and let it go. You have, it's, a, it's your choice whether you want to let it go. You do have a new opportunity here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a golden opportunity. It feels like an opportunity is coming to you. This is something that could um, be a long-term opportunity, something permanent, a permanent offer. Something It could even be a loan or a gift or an offer. Whatever this offer is, it is a solid, stable opportunity that you can bank on. So you do have an opportunity that is coming to you, but I don't think it's been presented to you yet. I don't think it has. Because you have to embark on this new journey first. There's something about money here as well. So I think somebody, is they may be fighting because this is fighting over money. Judgment. Just You saw it fall out. Judgment is a wake-up call, is an epiphany, it is a life-changing decision. This is also truths being revealed. This is karma being held accountable, responsibility being assigned. This is uh, some sort of absolution, okay? This is forgiveness, it is release, accept, and allow. Release, accept, and allow it's time to, I feel like it's time to move on from something, but you're struggling to move on. It's like you're struggling to leave. It's like, I want to fight for it. No, don't fight for it. Release it. You have evolved. Whatever this is has caused your evolution. I feel like there's some sort of wake-up call that is coming. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call. It's almost like... A decision is being made and it feels like there's nothing you can do about it. This is a life-changing decision. It is a decision of purpose. You don't see it coming because this is lack of foresight. It's a missed opportunity. Somebody has been focusing on something. They have been focusing on something that is lost, whether it is you know, it's a desire, so it could be it could be materialism, it could be money, it could be sex. I've been focusing on something that is only lust. And it is time to release whatever that is. It's time to just release it and go with the flow and accept the outcome. There is some sort of outcome here that there's I feel like there's a decision that is gonna be made. It may not be what you want, but it is for your highest good. I think it's for your highest good. I do. What does this say? I gotta read this again. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do whatever and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. This is protection and power. The, there is somebody from the other side, whether it is angels, God, ancestors, somebody that has passed away that is trying to protect you from something. But it feels like you want to fight. And I feel like this is your energy. I feel like I want to fight for it. I want to... No, don't fight. This is give up the fight. Seriously, just don't fight. This is about going with the flow. Okay? You need to just go with the flow. Be open to change. Be open to whatever is happening. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Um, Knight of Swords reversed. I feel like... You're dealing with an untrustworthy individual. This person is a fraud, okay? This person is untrustworthy. This person is a fraud. This could be a con man. This is somebody that is abusive. There could even be theft here. It could be theft of money or possessions or something like that. I feel like you need to uh, basically stop do not engage do not engage with this 
Leave it all behind. Let it all go. And if you can't let it go, then you haven't learned your lesson and somebody's going to get some karma. This is a lesson. It is. The temperance card is a lesson. This is the path that represents the journey of life. This is about staying true to yourself. This is a higher learning, a lesson. This is some sort of karmic lesson that you are learning. You're, you are learning some sort of karmic lesson. And I feel like this is still in the midst of the battle. The battle isn't over yet. And I think it's because i got to fight for this. You know, that's ego. And this is ego. If you have to fight for something instead of having balance and harmony in your life and, and having peace, then that you're creating your own trauma. Anyhow, I feel like you do need to stop fighting with somebody. Just let them, let them have it. Leave it behind. Especially if it's just things or whatever it is. Be like, you know what? I'm, I'm leaving it. I'm not taking it with me. Goodbye. You, some of you are struggling to find balance and harmony. This is about balance and harmony. This one is too. But this is reversed. The struggle is real. And I think there's anger here. So anyway, I feel like this month you need to uh, release. You probably need some healing. There could be some profound self-healing that is needing, needed. You, mean, you mean, may need to depart from somebody and go your, down another path. That is literally, you know, leaving it all behind, taking a journey, and just, you know, going within to heal. I, this is definitely a very healing energy. Some of you, this, both of these cards can represent reconciliation. So some of you, uh, maybe you've been waiting for a reconciliation with somebody. Because this is waiting, but it's waiting in vain. Maybe you've been waiting for for uh, somebody that is very combative and, and fraudulent. This is a con man or abusive. Maybe you've been waiting for this person to change. Waiting for somebody to change is a no-no, okay? The only person that you can, that is gonna change or that you should be waiting for to change or is you. Don't sit and wait for people to change. Anyhow, I feel like you are dealing with some... I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is abusive. This person is irresponsible, unfaithful, lazy, unhealthy, greedy, uh, inflexible. Um, and I also feel like there could be some sort of financial loss, whether it's theft or something like that. And, and maybe you, and it's hard to accept. Yes, it is very hard to accept. But I do think that you are going to be uh, moving in a new direction. I think you're going to be moving in a new direction. You're going to be starting with a clean slate. You could be reconciling with somebody from a past life. And that's a whole nother message. You do have a new beginning here. There could be somebody that is coming into your life. And you need to go really, 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 really slow. Because this is slow, and then this one is slow as well. Uh, you may, I feel like you are unprepared for some something to come in. I feel like you are about to get a wake up call. This is life changing. Okay, you are something is going to happen that you don't see coming. You are unprepared for it. You do have a new beginning here. Don't fight it. If somebody gives you an offer, take it. But go slow. Don't rush. Trust your gut. You're being protected. You have some universal help here or angelic help or somebody that has passed away even. That is guiding you, that is helping you. 
I mean, this judgment card is the end of things. Okay, it is. This is a life-changing decision that is being made. This is a positive change. So consider this luck, okay? Consider this lucky, okay? This is, if you think about Sagittarius, which is ruled by Jupiter, which is luck. So I do believe you have some sort of luck that is coming in. It is unforeseen. You need to step forward in blind faith. You're going to be stepping into uncharted territory. You need to uh, have faith. Have faith in new beginnings. Have faith in this new life because you're going to be presented with an opportunity that leads you down a new path. And I feel like you are going to be reluctant to go. Go. Just go. Listen to your gut. And I feel like you've been ignoring your gut. Wasting time waiting for something. You've been waiting for somebody else to change. Stop waiting. Drop that baggage and run. So anyway, Sagittarius, I feel like this month you may have a reconciliation with somebody from your past. It doesn't have to be a lover. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be a lover. I feel like you. It, this, this, this could be somebody from a past life. I do believe you're going to be getting yourself into something that is much better for you. You're exchanging something lesser for something better. You are. This is uh, the end of a battle. Okay, I feel like you've been battling with somebody. I feel like the battle is coming to an end. And you're going to feel relief. Okay, here comes the sun, here comes the warmth, here comes uh, the, and the new beginning that you have uh, been fighting. You've been fighting it. Step into that unknown territory. Do not let anything hold you back. You are going to be given an opportunity. It is a golden opportunity, okay? That is life-changing. Do not let fear get in your way. Be fearless. Take that leap of faith. You may not have any experience with it, and it may be scary, but you need to do it. Some of you are dealing with another Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You are unprepared for what is coming, okay? You probably do not see it coming. But I feel like you have been protected. You may not see it that way. Something better, okay? You've got something better. Um... There is acceptance here as well. This is about being accepted, both of these cards. So there's some sort of acceptance here. It's time to accept the truth as what well. judgment is a card of truth. It's also a card of finality. Maybe it's the truth about a reconciliation with somebody that isn't coming back because that's not, you know what I mean? And just move on. Rejection is God's protection. Anyhow, I do believe that there is a life-changing decision that is going to be made by you. I think you're making it, okay? This is you making a life-changing decision. You're going to, maybe you just decide to wake up, you know, you go through some sort of awakening or you get some sort of epiphany. This is ready to be judged. Some of you could be going to court this month. If you go to court, I mean, the Six of Wands reverse could be a loss. It could be. But maybe it's a loss because it's not for your highest good. Maybe it's just lust. Maybe it's something that you don't really need. It's not going to help you to evolve on your journey. Maybe, maybe you need to change and that's why something doesn't go in your favor. I don't know. 
I do feel like um, you will be accepted though, because there's acceptance here. You will be forgiven for something. There is forgiveness here. There's acceptance and forgiveness. I feel like you are dealing with a very cocky individual who lies a lot, that doesn't tell the truth. Let this person go. Leave this person behind and step into your new life. This is healing. This is getting better. This is, this is health improving. Allow this to happen. Do not fight it. There could be a fight that causes a change. I'm just saying, with that Six of Wands reverse, they're definitely in the Knight of Swords reverse. There could be a fight. Things could that's negative, out of control. Somebody that is looking for a fight, and we have a fight, you know. So somebody may be picking a fight with you, and you need to walk away, or it changes your life forever because there could be some consequences. Judgment is a card of consequences. Anyhow, there's about to be a change this month. It is a, uh, it's a big one. It is a big one. You're going to be embarking on a new journey and you're going to be leaving some things behind and you're actually going to be smiling because you're going to feel relief as soon as you step into that new place. Good luck.